Hello! VQ Docs is a new tool that allows students and instructors to collaborate on documents more seamlessly than before. It also allows for students to create documents and receive instructor feedback within Blue Quill without having to upload or download any files. This video will show instructors how they can view and grade assignments inside of Blue Quill without having to download student files and upload their feedback. Also, it will demonstrate how submissions can be locked and unlocked by the instructor. Let's get started. As an instructor of a course, you can now view most assignments from within Blue Quill and provide feedback without having to download and upload files. If you want to still download and upload files, that option is available as well. To view and grade an assignment at the same time, first click on the assignment. The student roster will show me which students have submitted by displaying a check mark next to their name. The check mark is green if it is on time and red if it was late. When I click on a student's name, I will see a new icon with a number that represents how many documents or files they have submitted. I can click on this icon to see the documents and files listed. Then. I can click the check mark to see when it was submitted. If it's a document that I can view inside the BQ Docs editor, I will see a pencil icon when I mouse over the file. If it's a file that I need to download, it will show a cloud icon when I hover over the file. For this example, I will click the pencil icon. This will open the document in the BQ Docs editor. I can resize this document by clicking and dragging the top bar. If I need to download the original file format, I can do so by clicking the cloud icon on the top bar. I can add my grade and fill out my rubric with the assignment open next to the grading and rubric tools. I can also add annotations and I can edit the document. This allows me to give my feedback on the document without having to download and upload the document file. In addition, there is an overlay button. When I click this, I can draw on the document and I can add post-it style notes that the student can see. When I'm done marking up the document, I need to save it by clicking save. Then I can share this document back to the student by clicking the share icon on the document in the list. The student will be able to see the edits, annotations, drawing, and notes that you provided to the document. I still have the option to download through the Dropbox and the Grade Grid and upload feedback in the Grade Grid as I did before. If I use this method, I do not get the benefit of being able to grade alongside the document and add feedback without downloading and uploading. Students also have the ability to share a document with their instructor before they submit it for grading. I can tell that a document has been shared with me by seeing the share icon next to their name in the roster. Just like with the submission, I can add feedback to their shared document and share it back with them. Another added feature is the ability to lock submissions. The default behavior works as it did previously where submissions can be made both before and after the due date. Submissions only become locked when you download or view a student's submission. Now, you have the ability to lock all student submissions on a specific date. This is done by clicking under Lock Student Submissions and picking a date. I can also unlock submissions on a per-student basis. This can be done in the roster inside the object. When I click on a student's name, there is a lock icon which can be toggled on or off. I set it to unlock in order to allow a student to submit to that assignment. If you need to view this video again, click on the question mark next to the BQ Docs in the roster.